Bro, forget that I'm Rima. I'm divine right here. Mm. Man, I got that grace in my name. Do not wanna put my mind on the wrong lane. They ask when you want the money up there. I just love him, child. I love him. I love him. I love his vibe. You understand? I love the way he on a normal level. Shouldn't get it. Got my focus on what I really gotta achieve. But go to my neck, go to my neck, and gotta go to my teeth. Now I wanna go down to the park and eat. It will almost be disrespectful to tell the story of Rema without starting with the prince. Personally, I think the prince is one of the most mysterious men in the Nigerian music industry. I grew up listening to him and watching him on TV, but after a while, he kind of just disappeared. And then a few years later, he discovers Rema. Shortly after that, he announces Ruga, and nothing has been the same ever since. These two have dominated the industry like it was their birthright. The prince is like a second father. I won't say it's perfect, but it's holding a very strong place in my life. And I just hope, you know, as time goes by, we get to bond stronger, understand each other, and, you know, we stay the same and we don't change. And that's it. My name is Koti. I already know you. <laughs> In the space of four years, Rema has gone from the charming, innocent boy we all love to the unapologetic, energy-driven raver we all still love. He has constantly changed himself, but somehow, he's also managed to stay the same. I like change. Change in the, in the aspect that they don't need to tell me to change, I change. But if you look at the transition of my career as well, you, you can tell that there's always something new. Like, as far as music, when personality, when you like look, so whatever, I like to mm -hmm. switch. How it. do you know when to make it switch? Depression. There's sometimes you just, in a week, every day is the same. <laughs> it's the same routine. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, same yeah. mood. Everything is the same. So that's when you know that it's an issue. And yeah, once you get depressed, it means like your skin or your soul is not comfortable in that skin, you know, in that mindset or that mind frame. Mm. I'm very grateful for the people around me and the people who bring so much love to my face that help me like sweep out the hates. It took me time to understand that I should focus on love because it, it cannot be compared to the hates. The love is just so big. Mm. For this thing, for OT, so that you go to sink into any trap song. What would they have? No, not for tomorrow. Start tomorrow. Eh? I just want to go shoe shopping and those. Cha. You don't go that place. I go go tomorrow. We'll go tomorrow. Hmm. What's the what's the hardest thing I'm gonna do? I can't touch. <laughs> this guy can't touch. He can't touch song. God. Like after three months, this guy will just call me. Lord, you know, that back up, eh? I beg, eh? Can you just can you just bring it down? I beg. Can you bring it down? So don't like a perfectionist. No, I'm not a perfectionist. So. I remember the backups for love. I was not in Nigeria at that time. And then one day he just called me and it was, it was like 2 a.m. where I was. And I was like, guy, can you please bring down the backups for love? They are too harsh. This was like months after we recorded love, man. Like months. <laughs> like well, I've been listening to it, but that day I just realized. Because at first, the, when we make it at first and have that first bounce, we have it as the creators. Then when I start listening, then and now I, I, I have to take some time to start listening like the audience. I always like to like um, be part of every creative direction. A bit, I don't know, whatever, the smallest things that you think, you know, nobody will even pay attention. I pay attention. Do you, do you um, know him before? Why? Um, I guess. Before Lagos? Yeah. Nah, me, I was a very, I was like a lonely person, you can't lie. I always stayed in my room. It was room, church, room, church, room, church, every fucking day. But now it's like bed, studio, bed, studio, outside. Like Show, con yeah, shoe, yeah. Yes. Yeah. rehearsal house. Yeah, now I'm about to start touring, you know. Like, I just, I just don't feel 100% right when the person that did not really, like, it's not bad for DJs to DJ, you know? But I just feel like it hits different when a producer. Yeah, or, when 
the of this yeah the originator the is creator. dj the set hits different and they play with the beats the way that it was sing with the audience or the different mood of audience that's why, that's why we like to touch down countries before our show um we don't like to do we come in with katie shang we like to come and understand like the mindset <laughs> They will be like, no, not this song, or look, this is how we're going to stretch this one, or let's remove the vocals here and let's just make it just beats, whatever. Elements. So, but you cannot tell that to the DJ now. The DJ will just be like, oh, yeah. now you give me a one play. Yeah. Why yeah. are you stressed? Why are you, brother? Why are you making a deep for me? Calm down. London. <laughs> it's London. <laughs> it's London. Why would you say it's London? <laughs> what would you say? Why would you, why would you own it? Before? Would you own it? <laughs> London, like, yes. Would you own it? Your last relationship, define it in one word, like romantic relationship. Low key, beautiful, real, and a little quite manipulative. So much pressure, you know, knowing the world put so much yeah. pressure on me, but coming back home is where you want to feel relief yeah. and you want to let go of the world's pressure. But when you come back home and <laughs> you're getting more pressure, it's a different story. It's a different yeah. story. But yeah, for now, I'm feel, done. Do you like having sex? Um. Mm, not necessarily. I'm not that freak that I just want to go crazy because yeah. I have money or whatever. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just of one experience that I could make four songs. It's a lot of times where I go months and I'm not in the mood and I air it out to my partner. Like, mm -hmm. No, nah, I don't do it. I want to stay focused. Like, yeah. I just want to like show love but not make love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She said she wanna get a little dirty yeah, she rub on my chest Shorty start to give me sloppy sloppy She make a man confess She make a man go I think here will also be a good place to take pictures yeah. Are you still hustle? I hustle Like, I hustle That's my guns, I didn't hustle <laughs> Like leave music or I see I see music money as capital. If you have a I don't know a lit, little or advanced in, entrepreneur and you know mindset, you surely want to like direct money from music elsewhere. You don't just want to make money from music and spend. Hmm. You yeah you have to expand your portfolio. You understand? So I never slacked on that since day one. Uh -uh. My first check. I don't play with my investments. No, I do. But I just feel like sometimes if you even show how much money you're making, it just brings so much hate. Most especially because a lot of young people like watch me or look up to me. And I don't want to like put people under unnecessary pressure. Mm. The one I'm doing already is enough. Fresh young nigga, cruising in a bima. Fresh young nigga, cruising in a bima. Fresh young nigga, puffing on a tiga. Fresh young nigga, puffing on a tiga. Um, so if music didn't work, I would still be pushing that P in the corner where I was laying. You understand? Know Even at that point where I was doing a freestyle, I was I didn't really need to do a freestyle because I needed money. Because I had money. Okay, so you were good. I was actually good. Rema thought it would be fun to go spray painting together. So we linked up with one of the biggest graffiti artists in Lagos, Dricky. So it seems like you do a lot of activities. Yeah, I like to keep myself distracted creatively. I don't want to just keep my head on all the music. Mm. There's a lot of activities I lost. Mm. You know, I lost a lot of youthfulness. Yeah, okay. yeah so, because um, you have to go fast. Yeah. It's like, uh, 
Uh -huh. it's, like, it's like war. It's like war. <laughs> you know what you wanted to say. I knew what you wanted to say. Uh, yeah, all the, is this what? Sorry, you guys. Sorry, is this what Connors feel like? Yeah. Man, I've so never had sex. I don't know what Connor feels like. like. Nah, you can't even say that, bro. What? Your, your album. No, maybe. No, it's not about album. Mm. What about people just tell me their stories and no, I just sing about it? Yeah, so, so detailed. <laughs> yeah, because they give me this. I, nah, look. You don't know if I, I pay to know what mm. sex is like. We do keep quiet, Chai. You, you look like grandma. People, please, do I look like grandma? I don't see this thing everybody sees. I don't see this. No, honestly, um, no, you look like. Look like him. Grandma looks like me. We actually look alike. Somehow, I don't know, jawline. But I hear it a lot. Maybe I'm from your family in some way. Maybe. It's exactly. Why do you have a sword on your neck? Um, because because of there's a there's a line in the Bible that said the word of God is sharper than its word, just sword, <laughs> stuff like that. So yeah, that's why God is. Interesting. Because so that's the word of God on your neck. There there are a lot of tattoos I got because I was just. In pain, bro. Yeah. But will you ever get a tattoo there? Yeah, I don't need to have money. I can't be broke and be having a tattoo on my body. You have Please, money, I'm just winding up. Please, not, please not stop you. No. I'll get a tattoo of you. But you get my name, you get Remy Boy. Uh, is that what you want? Uh, Remy, Remy is shorter. No, I know, it's real. I'll, I'll get it behind my ears. Cut it. I'm telling you, I'll get it. I'll get it. Cut it, don't trust me. Hey. Cut it, I thought I told, I told what, what, what built our trust. Hmm? Cut it. No, Allah. <laughs> You do this. You go to the club. Is it your van for club? Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> but do you like going? To going to the club? Oh. We don't go usually, bro. Because you know when you go too often, so much, yes, there's yes. no element of surprise anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get bored. Yeah, you get bored. Sometimes I just like to do my own shit. I don't even want to be, have like loud music, crazy in the club, spending bottles, sometimes. Buy a couple bottles of red wine, mm. you know, have people over, we watch movies, eat popcorn. Mm. Before this video ends, I'd like to tell you a short story just for people who don't really know anything about me. In 2019, Rema released his first EP. I had never heard anything like it. I listened to that shit like it was my religion. I love you, bro. You say I love you. One day I made an Instagram video inspired by one of the songs on the EP. And my followers loved it. I had like 4,000 followers at the time, but they started tagging Rema for a second. I thought I was going to be blown. Some days later, Rema posted a video that was an exact replica of the one I had made. I went on my Instagram and talked about it because I was kind of hurt. People supported me in the comments saying he took my video and he could have just given me credit and all of that. A few people, however, made me scared when they started saying things like, Koti, you shouldn't have done that because, you know, you're just starting out and you might have just missed an opportunity to work with Rema in the future. I was a lot younger at the time, so I felt like I had made a mistake, you know, speaking up. But I still decided it wasn't fair to me and I ignored everything and moved on with my life. I've said all of this to say that I've always believed God gave me a special series of gifts. And I'm constantly working to improve and discover all these yeah. gifts. So if I feel like someone like is trying to mess with my hard work, I'll speak up. Because I believe people who actually make it to the top have an insane level of confidence in who they are meant to be. And even in times of doubt, they can hold on to that assurance. Apart from like the fact that you're talented, why do you think people like you a lot? Because I'm fearless. And because I don't care. Confidence in whatever ideas I have. No matter how unusual it seems, confidence in my look, dress, style, anything. You know, I, I go intimidated, you know, outside or behind closed doors, bullied, mm. criticized. But it's it's left to you to take what people say or just do you now. <sighs> <laughs> I will still do what I want to do. It's four years later, and contrary to what those people said, Standing up for myself has not made me miss an opportunity to work with my mom. Me and my boys were just in, in the living room. We're playing video games and all 
like, fuck it, let's watch YouTube. Mm -hmm. And she just popped up. And then I was actually, N Nigerian YouTubers are yeah, actually yeah. fun. You know what I'm saying? But I like yours because it's just real and it's just okay. It's just reaching out. And yeah, I rock what you do, 100%. Who's your favorite artist right now in Nigeria? Musician. Yeah, musician. Psycho IP. Ah, I like him. <laughs> I like Psycho. I, I rock with his music, swag, I'm everything. I'm trying to film for God knows when. And I'm in Lagos, is in Abuja anyway. Yeah, you could um, go to Abuja now. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm actually done. Let's put this in your boots. And let's go. Did, did you get the film? <laughs> check, if, check if you got the film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're always saying how like you know you can't just do the flow and like, you just you know, it's just go. Mm -hmm. So are you saying that like, there's no plan? Okay. I plan, but I don't hundred percent put my trust on the plan. I could plan, but I have a, I have a plan B. And that plan B is no plan. Can you summarize the life of Test trials, triumph, TTT, miss my flow.